Welcome to my three-part series showcasing the beautiful waterways of Fort Lauderdale, the Venice of America, and yachting capital of the world. As a bonus, I will be pointing out homes that are on the market along the way. Today's boat ride will start in the Las Olas Isles, travel south down the Intracoastal Waterway, and take the New River, finally ending at a fun waterfront restaurant, yacht, bar, and kitchen. Since this is part one of the three-part series, this video will stop as we enter the New River from the Intracoastal Waterway. My name is Nicole Murray Chen, and I'm a South Florida real estate specialist. Please consider subscribing to my channel and liking my video. The encouragement really inspires me to create great content for you to view. Our good friends, Bill and Susan, were kind enough to invite us on this boat ride. They, like me, are transplants from the Midwest, good old Chicago, Illinois. I've actually met many Midwesterners in Fort Lauderdale recently. If you are watching this and are thinking of transplanting yourself down here, definitely give me a call. I love Bill and Susan's home at the Palms on Venice Condo. It is a 10-unit building with spacious living areas, wraparound balconies, and convenient boat docks. Rarely does a unit come up for sale, and when they do, they are scooped up quickly, such as the $1.6 million unit that is currently pending. This home is on Isle of Venice Drive, and coincidentally, I lived on Isle of Venice back in 2006, shortly after moving down to Florida. This street holds a very special place in my heart as I had such fond memories living here during my 30s. Back then, I lived in a studio apartment with a water view and I was only paying $800 per month. That included everything, cable, electricity, furniture, and water. Property values and rents have increased dramatically since then. As people continue to move to South Florida, the values continue to increase. This sweet little apartment I had on Isle of Venice was a hidden gem. At the time, I was temporarily staying with friends nearby and knew I needed to find something quickly. I was very fond of the Isles and decided late one night to drive down the street with a friend of mine and pick out properties. Most of the rentals on the street at the time were older, smaller apartment buildings that you may not necessarily even find listed online available for rent. When I drove past 64 Isle of Venice with the charming bell tower and beautifully lit pool, I fell in love. It was like a mini Melrose place with picturesque boats docked along the property on the canal. I walked through the entrance gate and down the open corridor to the pool and told myself that I am coming back the next day to find the landlord and ask to see an apartment since it was already so late at night. I marched back over the next day and knocked on the door of the owner's apartment. He was the most adorable old man, and he said I could move in right away, no deposit or lease. I feel like his name was Bob, but I seriously can't remember because I always secretly referred to him as Mr. Furley from Three's Company. He was this quirky, little, silly old man that I just adored and would do anything for. If he needed help, I was always there to offer. The finishes and furniture were old, and the carpet was probably from the 1970s, but I was as happy as I could be. He even had a spare apartment available for my family when they would come for only $50 a night. This kind of place was never advertised anywhere, not even a sign in the yard. Sometimes you just need to know where to drive around and start knocking on doors to get what you want. In the end, I ended up living there on and off for several years whenever I was in between moves. He eventually passed away and the apartment was converted to condominiums.
I absolutely love South Florida, especially days like this when I get to spend time with good friends on a beautiful day enjoying the waterways. There is something inspiring about seeing all of these fantastic homes and the yachts in front of them. Check out 223 Royal Palm Drive. Point lots are hard to come by, and at almost $14.5 million, the price shows. The listings I am pointing out today are not my listings. Rather, these are ones I found on the MLS as of July 31st, 2022, and my comments are my personal opinion only. That being said, if you are a buyer and are not represented, give me a call and I will be happy to show you any of these homes. Back to 223 Royal Palm Drive. The property is being marketed more for land value than the home that is currently on there. 0.45 acres is a generous amount of land, especially on the water. Now you may be asking yourself, what is a point lot? A point lot is distinctive due to its location at the end or point of a canal island. They provide for the very best wide water views, privacy in the cul-de-sac of the street, and the most accessible dockage for larger yachts. Point lot homes are highly prized due to limited availability and offer the pinnacle of waterfront living. If you are watching this and would like to sell your home, I love working with sellers as well. Now you may be wondering, do the people of South Florida go out on boats every week? The answer is yes. Fort Lauderdale is a boating community and the boating lifestyle is very much ingrained into the town. Once you live here, it is likely that you'll make friends with at least a handful of people with some sort of watercraft. Around the corner is 2301 Aqua Vista Boulevard. At almost 23 million, it sits on a huge 0.73 acre point lot. The home is seven bedrooms with seven and a half bathrooms and plenty of room for your super yacht. If you own a hedge fund or an oil company, this may be the perfect fit. Speaking of super yachts, I am a big fan of the Bravo series Below Deck. Captain Lee, Malia, Captain Sandy, Chef Ben, and the majority of all of the cast members either live or spend some time in Fort Lauderdale at some point during the year. If you're a fan of Below Deck as well, comment below with your favorite cast member. The super yachts of Below Deck are 150 to 175 feet in length. I'm not sure what is the cutoff for the super in super yacht, but if you see Captain Lee, you are probably on one. Twenty five oh nine Aqua Vista Boulevard can be yours for just twenty four million dollars. With its two hundred foot dock, it can fit a super yacht. The home has over 12,000 square feet of living area on 0.55 acres. I've seen the pictures and it is absolutely beautiful. You will notice that this is a Mediterranean style home. This is a very common look in South Florida, although the modern architecture is becoming much more prevalent. 2533 Aqua Vista Boulevard has more of a northern architecture with its dark gray walls and high pitched roof. This 0.23 acre lot and five bedroom, 
4454 square foot home can be yours for just over $9 million. This is where Bill really hits the gas. There are some no wake zones, but we just entered the wake zone. Hold on to your hats when you're about to take off. This cluster of condo buildings are a great choice if you want to live in luxury while being in the middle of the busiest section of Fort Lauderdale Beach. You can own units within this Ritz-Carlton and utilize their hotel program to rent them out as an investment. The Los Olas Beach Club is what put Galleria International Realty on the map. That is the real estate office that I work with. You are just steps from the beach. The Portofino is an intracoastal facing building with fewer units than the nearby larger towers. Jackson Towers is one of my favorites. It is known for their very oversized balconies. The amenities within the building are fantastic. Please visit my website or call me for more information on these towers. The stretch of water we are on right now is the Intracoastal Waterway. This is the I-95 of boating. We started off in the quiet canals of the Las Olas Isles, but once you get to the busy Intracoastal, you have to be careful and vigilant. You will notice that there are some humongous homes on the Intracoastal. That wide open water view is prized down here. It doesn't get much wider than this part of the Intracoastal, at least in Broward County. This beautiful home with many columns is two Pelican Drive. It's already in pending status, but the asking price was $19.9 million. I'll be looking it up later after it closes to see what it traded for. The Lauderdale Yacht Club has been around since the 1930s, and many well-established locals call themselves members. They recently renovated their building. Lauderdale Yacht Club is a private members-only club. To be considered for membership, you must be recommended by a current member. Due to the overwhelming response in membership, it will be close to a year before there are openings for those inquiring about membership right now.
200 Plaza Las Olas is offered at $5.75 million and is a four-bedroom, 2,770-square-foot home. The location has a view of the Las Olas Boulevard Bridge, and 170 feet of the lot is facing the canal. 234 Plaza Las Olas is also offered at $5.75 million. It is a four-bedroom home with 63 feet of waterfront. We are now going under the Las Solas Boulevard Bridge. The bridge goes up every 15th and 45th minute past the hour. That is if there is a ship that has requested it to open. If you don't want to get stuck on the bridge in your car, be sure to time your trips. The Venetian is a 1960s building on a fantastic plot of land right on the Intracoastal and a couple blocks from the beach. One of the more affordable buildings in the area, the prices here still start at $900,000. You may have seen one of my other videos discussing the Point of Americas, the building that I live in. Before buying at the Point, we did tour the Venetian. It appears to be a well-maintained building, and it's definitely in the center of all the action. There is a new marina next to the Las Olas Boulevard Bridge that just broke ground in May of 2022. This iconic marina will redefine the Fort Lauderdale waterfront, featuring fine dining, boutique retail, state-of-the-art infrastructure improvements, and lush, pedestrian-friendly landscape. It is a $70 million project that will take two years to complete. Plans for the new Las Olas Marina include 7,000 linear feet of dockage, a three-story, 31,000-square-foot marine services building with a casual restaurant ship store, office space, a gym, a swimming pool, and an outdoor patio, and a two-story 15,000 square foot upscale waterfront restaurant with outdoor dining areas.
Harborage Place is a prestigious building in the exclusive Harbor Beach. This is one of my favorite areas of Fort Lauderdale since it's close to the beach, intracoastal waterway, and restaurants. But you have your privacy and seclusion. In the southeast corner of Fort Lauderdale is one of the most prestigious neighborhoods in all of Fort Lauderdale. Bordered by Port Everglades to the south, the Atlantic Ocean to the east, the Intracoastal Waterway to the west, and Fort Lauderdale Beach Park to the north, this community is popular with yachting enthusiasts who appreciate the deep water home sites and close proximity to the ocean. Harbor Beach includes the subdivisions of Laguna Isle, Lucille Isle, Del Lago Isle, and Isle Bahia, and the association provides for a private beach club and security patrols. The affluent Harborage Isle, which contains just 17 waterfront homes on the beautiful New River Sound, has its own association, guard gate, and security. Well, this concludes our part one of the Las Olas Isles Intracoastal Waterway and New River Boat Ride. I should have part two posted within the next couple of weeks. See you then. Thank you for watching my video and please consider subscribing to my channel. I post content about South Florida real estate, lifestyle and travel. I am also a licensed realtor, so please visit my website for listings and my contact information. I look forward to hearing from you soon.